Hello, this is Dave Enyart. I'm going to de demonstrate some of the chain code data patterns that we have with uh, Hyperledger Fabric version 1. Uh, many people already know about the get state and put state, of course. That's the basis of uh, many chain codes. Uh, but I wanted to focus on uh, key range queries and non-key queries uh, that we've introduced in version 1. So the key range queries uh, can be used in uh, chain code transactions. So for example, you could uh, do a range query to identify which keys your chain code should update. And when you do these types of queries, the Fabric guarantees that the result set is stable between endorsement time and commit time. And this ensures the, tr the integrity of the transaction. If there's any changes uh, in this range of keys between the endorsement simulation time and commit time, the transaction will be uh, tagged as invalid and the client uh, we'll, we'll get an event to that uh, degree. So uh, there's two types of key range queries. Under the covers are the same thing, but uh, the different signatures in terms of what you're doing with your chain code. There's the range query state. When you know your start key and your end key, you can read a range between those keys. And there's also a partial composite key query, where, for example, if you have a key that is really a composite key made up of uh, in my example here, K1, K2, and K3, you can very easily with this API do a uh, partial query based on uh, just the K1 uh, aspect or the K1, K2 aspects. So it's a uh, partial composite key query. Uh, if, you are, if you are familiar with the get rows API in 0 0.6, this is a replacement for that API. Uh, in version 1, we recommend using um, JSON data uh, or binary data uh, as your data for the blockchain. Uh, as, since we have uh, removed the table APIs that were there in version 0 0.6. Uh, also new in version 1 are, is this concept of non-key content uh, queries. This is beta in version 1. If you are using uh, the state database uh, CouchDB, uh, which we are adding support for. So CouchDB, if you if you structure your data as JSON, uh, you can actually query the content itself and not just the keys. But these are, we call them read-only point-in-time queries. Not really appropriate for using in chain code logic because there's no guarantee that uh, other data, other transactions did not take place between endorsement time and commit time. The API is called get query result and you can pass in a query string in the syntax of the state database in the case of this example in CouchDB syntax and you'll get back uh, the records that match. So I'm going to demonstrate these through a, a version of uh, what we call the marbles chain code. Uh, marbles chain code is a simple chain code that demonstrates the creation of an asset, a marble, and then allows you to transfer that marble uh, and do other transactions on that marble. So this chain code is actually in the fabric uh, samples. You can find it at examples chain code go marbles 02 and it's called 02 to uh, differentiate it from some of the other marbles samples and demonstrations that are out there. And in this case, uh, we're going to start up a, a peer, and we're going to uh, create a marble, and then I'll show you how to transfer the marble uh, and do the various types of queries on the marbles. So let's go over to our um, environment. And there's many windows here, but I'll tell you uh, what we're starting up. We're first going to start up the ordering service here in the first window. In the second window, we're going to create a chain, and there is a... Uh, command to do that, peer uh, channel create, and we're going to call that my channel one. And we'll start up the peer itself. And we can specify here that the uh, state database is CouchDB. And we're not going to use a default chain because we're creating our chain explicitly. And now we need to have this peer join the chain. So there's a command for that, uh, peer channel join. Uh, 
Okay, and then we need to uh, deploy our chain code. So we are uh, calling the pure chain code deploy on my chain one. We'll call this, we'll give it the name marbles. And here's the, exa uh, the marbles example location, marbles02. And it'll uh, call the init function on the chain code. Chain code has been deployed. Uh, now let me go over uh, to the chain code. And at the top of the chain code, there are some commented out uh, commands to uh, invoke the chain code. Uh, we're going to create a couple marbles with the init marble function, and then we'll transfer the marble uh, and then uh, query on it. So the init marble, I'll uh, show you that part. It is right here. Uh, and what it does is it takes the marble the data that we passed in. First check to see if it already exists. Uh, and then that marble uh, object is marshaled into JSON so that we can uh, persist it in a good format. Save the marble to state. And then one thing we'll also do to enable some of the range queries is we'll create what I call an index uh, of this uh, marble. And the index is really just another key value pair. But in this case, uh, we're going to store it using uh, an index name. It can be any name. I'll call, I'll call it color name. And we save, uh, we create a composite key based on the color and the name. And that just ends up being a key that we can then store in the state database uh, with a put state like any other uh, put. And we actually don't need any value, so we're just creating a, uh, a null byte and to store that as the value. What's important here is the index uh, key. This will enable uh, range queries on the marble uh, based on color. So if we wanted to transfer all marbles of a certain color, we can now do that with a partial uh, composite key query based on the color only. So we, we would pass the first part of the key, but not the second part of the composite key. And we would get back all the marbles uh, that are a certain color. And we could iterate through those and pull off the name of each of those marbles and do something with those, for example, transferring them to another user. OK, so let's go back uh, to our uh, sample commands. And we're going to create these marbles first. Paste this over into our uh, mock client. And if you have quick eyes, you can see uh, that we've, we've simulated uh, the transaction. And then in a few seconds, the ordering service will send out the transaction to all the peers. Uh, and we can see here, commit success, create a block. OK, so that's our first block. Uh, let's go ahead and create two more marbles. And we'll give that a few seconds. Uh, and then we'll transfer the marbles based on color, like I was mentioning before. And I can go show you that function. And there are uh, good comments in this marbles example that will explain what a partial composite key query is. OK, so here's the partial composite key query. Uh, based on the color that we pass in, we'll pass in the color blue. Uh, and it will return a result set, uh, including all the blue marbles that were indexed. And we can iterate through those, and for each one, we can transfer the marble. There's the call to the transfer marble uh, within the iterator. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to transfer all these blue marbles from Tom to Jerry. And the chain code runs in a Docker uh, container. So let's actually go look at the logs of that Docker container.
and we see in the logs that we've called uh, transfer based on color, uh, passing in blue and Jerry. And we see it found two marbles, marble one and marble three. Uh, and then it transferred each of those marbles. And at the end, we see it transferred two blue marbles to Jerry. Okay, so this is an example of using a range query uh, as part of a transaction to update the state. And next, I'll show you some of the um, non key based queries, the content queries or rich queries, as we sometimes call them. And in this Marbles O2 example, there's two uh, variants of that. One where you pass the actual query string in. Uh, and here we, see a, here we see that case where the function is called query marbles, and we pass in this uh, selector statement. Uh, and this is a uh, query in the syntax that Couch understands, CouchDB uh, understands. Uh, and then there's other, another one called query marbles by owner. Uh, and this is an example of a parameterized query where we pass in uh, a few parameters and the actual query uh, is written in the chain code and we're just passing it a few parameters. So depending on your needs, uh, you may want to uh, leverage one or both of these uh, types. So let's do the uh, query marbles by owner. Okay, and in this case, we just did a query. We did not submit this to ordering because there is no uh, transactional update to state here. And we see, uh, if you can parse this, JSON that came back, you can see this is an array. It includes two records. Uh, one is marble one, uh, which is owned by Jerry, and one is marble three that is owned by Jerry at this point. Okay, and if we were to call the... Uh, uh, the query marbles, where we pass in the entire uh, query string, we can do that as well, and we should get the same results. Okay, there we go, same results. Uh, so both of these, you can see the implementations of both of these functions down at the bottom. There is the query mar marbles by owner, followed by the query marbles. And we can see in the case of query marbles, we're just passing the query string, uh, whereas in the query marbles by owner, we create a query string and we just substitute in this parameter that was passed to the function. Both of these end up calling get query result for query string, where we can see the actual uh, chain code API get query result. Okay, let me go back to the introduction slide. To recap, uh, we did the key range queries, uh, specifically the partial composite key query, to query on a, uh, a subset of the of the composite key, uh, and we also did the non-key queries uh, based on data content. So uh, the the single key operations, as well as the key range operations or the key range queries, those work on uh, the default embedded uh, level DB state database. Uh, they also work on Couch DB, but if you want to try out these uh, non-key queries, uh, then you will need to try out the new capabilities uh, using the Couch DB database. Okay, uh, that's it for this time around. If you uh, have any uh, questions or feedback, you can find us on the Hyperledger Fabric uh, Slack. Uh, the channel is uh, Fabric Ledger Dev over there. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you found this useful.